What's good, YouTube? Is anybody here? Test, test, test. All right, we got six, seven. What is good, YouTube? My name is George. Welcome to my third live stream. I try to do these once a month. So if you're here, if you're watching the replay, or if you're watching the replay, make sure you smash that like button because it helps more people see it. Okay, so what's up, you guys in the chat? Nice to have you here. Ah, so this live stream is all about um, Aeroskeiko. So just at nine o'clock, my the summer line just dropped. So it is now live. I'm not even gonna check. I'm not gonna check my phone this whole time. So I'll see. I'll see all the orders right after this live stream, but. It is live now. The link is at the top of the description, aeroskate.com. Um, so yeah, this is crazy. It's a huge, exciting day. I've been working on this all summer. So yeah, it's happening. Um, I, I got this whole setup here for the live stream. So these are the three t-shirts that came out right here. It's kind of hard to point to them. Um, so we got the Space Coffee tea. That one's my personal favorite. We got the blue moonwalk tee, and we got the white moon skateboarding tee. And this is like the first Aero Skateco drop where the designs have like really gotten more than just the logo and text. They're kind of really intricate, and I feel like they look cool the second you look at them before you even really know what it is. So I'm, I'm super stoked on it. And I hope you guys are too. Let me know in the chat which one your favorite is. And yeah, the topic of this video is about um, getting Aero Skateco into a skate shop, which is something I really never thought would actually happen. It's always been a goal, but I've, I've always been like, is this actually going to happen? And so yeah, now I get to tell you guys how it happened. So this summer line, these three shirts, all of it will be available at Freedom Skate Shop in Madison, Wisconsin. So if you're in Madison, Wisconsin, you actually don't need to buy this stuff online. You can go get it at Freedom Skate Shop. Um, Ralphie, what up? I was waiting for you. <laughs> so yeah, Aero Skate Co. is in a skate shop. It's been a goal since the beginning. Um, and let me tell you how it happened. So it all started with my good friend, Chris. So Chris lives in Madison, and Chris is an Aeroskeiko team rider, if you didn't know. Um, I met him in Madison, and we just kind of were skating together, and, like, he's the best. And eventually I was, like, I felt like Chris was a perfect fit for the team. Chris, if you're – if somebody just – Daisy just bought all three shirts, yo, that means a lot. I'm not even, like – I get notifications for every order, but I'm not looking at them. I'm, I'm like terrified and scared and excited and it's, it's all so much. So thank you. And so continuing with the story. Yeah, I put Chris on the team because he was just like the perfect vibe, like so friendly, great skater, um, great at using social media and Instagram. And yeah, so I just, I started sending him shirts, put him on the team posted him up on the Instagram. And then I can't remember exactly when it was first brought up about Freedom Skate Shop, but I've, I've been in Freedom Skate Shop before. It's like the friendliest, like least intimidating skate shop I've ever been to. You just walk in there and they're so nice. Um, and for that reason, I'm really hyped. It's it's the first shop that Aero Skate Co. is in. I feel like it's perfect. Um, but yeah, so one day I think Chris told me that he he just like mentioned to them uh, about Aero Skateco and that uh, Freedom was basically basically seemed down for it. Um, <laughs> and at this point, that was a while ago. Like they kind of said they were down, but that was kind of that. There was no really new products. It was all the old stuff. I mean, so like until this until just now when this summer line came out, I haven't made new products in a while. Um, so like it, it has kind of been in the back of my head about freedom for a while. And then I was there this past summer and I actually got to talk to the owner of freedom. who's the man chef. If you're watching, shout out to you. Uh, 
super cool guy and super friendly. And yeah, so we actually, we got to talk about it in person and um, basically the, just the conversation slowly started building up and, and huge thanks to Chris for getting it started. Like that's a team rider right there. My gosh, thank you, Chris. <laughs> um, and yeah, right when I uh, got the designs for the Summerlin, I sent them all over. I was like, are you interested in getting these? I was like expecting maybe, maybe they would buy one graphic to put in the shop to test it out, but they bought the entire line. So sizes small through XL of all three of these graphics are in freedom. And it, it's still like, it's still, it's still kind of sinking in. It's kind of unbelievable. Like it's hard to describe. I, I knew I could do it, but I didn't know it would actually happen. Justin, thank you. I see you in the chat. Let's definitely skate to maybe this weekend. Hashtag helmet gang in the chat. Hell yeah. And yes, yeah, so that's the story about how I got into Freedom Skate Shop. I think there was definitely a realization there that it just, I, I mean, I know this is the common advice, but it just takes like consistent hard work and, and being willing to face rejection um, and just keep trying. And then one day, you'll get there. So now that's one skate shop, uh, hopefully more coming soon um, for the next line. We'll see. Um, yeah, and, and there's there, there's another lesson there. It's that I think as I grew up and, and started doing YouTube more and, and meeting all the people I looked up to, you realize that everyone you look up to and everyone who owns a skate shop and everyone who has a YouTube channel, they're all people just like you. And especially if they're also skateboarders, they're way more similar to you than you think. Um, so if you just get out there and <clears throat> work hard and make connections, you'll just like make friends with you. Like I feel like I'm friends with uh, the owner of Freedom, and and that's just how it goes. Like everyone's a person, so don't don't be afraid to just go for it. And that's kind of the the philosophy that I put into getting Aeroskate Coat into my first skate shop. So freak yeah, I'm so hyped. Um, I, w I, w I wish I could like walk in there and see him in the shop. Hopefully I'll get a picture. Um, yeah, I know that they're, I, don't, I don't think they're literally in right now. I actually think they're arriving tomorrow because I just shipped them a couple of days ago. Um, Samantha, you don't know which shirt to get. Well, I appreciate you for even considering it. Um, my favorite personally, personally is this one. You know what actually really excites me about this Aeroskeiko line is that almost everyone I talk to has a different favorite. Like some people like the blue one, the white one, the yellow one. So that that kind of makes me happy and have a good feeling about it. Um, let's let's get a couple of question and answers in the chat real quick, and then I got I got more stuff to talk about about Aeroskeiko. Also, if you're here, I freaking appreciate you so much. Like, thank you for enabling me to kind of do my thing with Aeroskeiko and YouTube. It's the best. I used to, I use skateboard. Asks, what are you going to do for 50K? So 50K is coming around much sooner than I expected, at least if the channel kind of keeps growing how it is right now. I posted these two videos that did really well, and I might even hit 50K before September. My plan was to hit 50K when... I was back at college and like literally throw a party because I feel like that's a huge accomplishment. I mean, I could wait for a hundred K, but 50 K could throw a little party. So I'll probably just, uh, whenever I hit 50 K throw a party, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go crazy and then I'm going to get back to work. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Any more questions in here? Oh, this is a good one. As a company owner, how did you decide who you wanted to sponsor. So yeah, just like what I was saying about kind of realizing that everyone is just a person, being in the position to sponsor people helped me realize that as well. So I feel like when you're a younger skateboarder, you kind of have this mindset that you like send your video through Instagram or just send your sponsor tape to a company and like mysteriously get on the team. But that's not actually how it is. It's getting sponsored is about making real friendships and connections 
meeting the people who run the companies. And if you guys kind of fit together and it makes sense, then you'll get sponsored. And the way I chose um, who to sponsor for Aeroskeiko, which is, by the way, it's Aaron Maloney, Tal Radke. Chris is trending on Instagram. Instagram, you'll find all their pages, by the way. And I feel like I'm friends with them all. Aaron is definitely my longest friend. We've been skating in Maplewood for forever. And he's just an incredible skateboarder. So that's why I chose Aaron. Um, Chris, I just kind of mentioned earlier, just perfectly fit the vibe of Aero Skate Co. Um, Tal, Tal, so me and Tal got uh, connected in New York and like we ended up kind of both on the trophy grip tape team and th it just made sense, you know, like, and Haley's the first person I didn't meet first. Um, I met her through Instagram and I just felt like she also fit the vibe of Aeroskeiko. I felt like we were friends before that happened. And then um, we did meet in Cali though. And and that's in some, one of my, one of my three LA videos is me and Haley catching a session together. So yeah, uh, that's how it works. Um, Jacob J, thanks very much for that $2. I really appreciate it. Love you, love you channel and what you're about. Dope content, hell yeah, I appreciate it. Um, I saw the boy mention something. Sponsorships are different when the companies get bigger. You don't get friends in Nike and get sponsored by them. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I am speaking from a place of having obviously a very small company. So it could be different as it gets bigger, although I think I, I assume that you would be surprised how much it relies on personal connections. Like I think even pro skateboarders out there might just like make a friendship and a connection and, and kind of make their sponsorships and career moves that way. So I don't know, maybe Aeroskeiko will uh, be, a, be that big one day and I'll be able to answer that for real. But for now, that's what I think. <sighs> okay. So I just wanted to kind of also talk to you guys about like, how how this line happened and what it means. So this time around, this line kind of has more of an abstract meaning. Um, I basically was really into the idea of making an outer space themed line. And the reason for that literally just stems from my fascination with outer space. I mean, um, and it is related to skateboarding, believe it or not. I, ju I just kind of think, it's crazy that like we're we're out here on a planet floating through space. I just took an astronomy class last semester, so <laughs> that kind of had an effect on me. Um, it's literally crazy. Like it feels like a wild coincidence, and we're literally part of the universe. This universe here that's spilling out of the coffee, we're part of that. And I feel like we're lucky to all be here together, alive and able to skateboard isn't that freaking awesome? And like, that's, that's kind of the idea I wanted to put into this line. And basically I, I brought that idea to my good friend, Justin, Justin, shout out to you if you're watching. And uh, we created these designs and he drew them up. I'm um, there freaking, I'm stoked on them. So thank you, Justin. And yeah, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's how the outer space it was going to be called the Outer Space Collection. Now it's become the Summerline. Uh, actually, like, so Chris, I got. I wanted to talk about this. Um, for the first time, I've I've not been doing absolutely everything Aeroskeiko on my own. So, like, obviously the team is a huge help to me. They they get clips in the shirts that I can post on Instagram. They the team creates the vibe of Aeroskeiko. It, it's not just me. Um, I gotta say thank you all you guys on the team for all your hard work with Aeroskeiko. Um, that's why Aeroskeiko is is where it is. And but so I I have enlisted Chris to help me on the social media, and he's been like helping me with posts and making these freaking dope ads and taking pictures. And it's just been it's been like a game changer. Like having not just me focusing on making this thing grow. It's it's awesome and uh, Chris, I freaking appreciate it. Um, yeah, it's nice to have somebody who like knows knows kind of your vision and is able to help you. Like, 
doing things on your own is important and it can get you to a certain point. But when you can, if somebody's vision aligns with yours, um, get some help because imagine how much you can do and then and then double that. So yeah, Chris, thanks. Had to say it. You're the best. <laughs> what was I even talking about? This is the problem when you can't edit your videos. You're just like, you know, you're just talking. But we're hanging out, so it's cool. Uh, okay. I was talking about something, though. Oh, yeah. I talked about the outer space theme. I talked about Justin making the designs. Um, I also want to say, which is pretty cool, uh, the the human who printed these is Dave from Blue Tile Skate Shop. So that's pretty exciting. That just kind of all came together last minute, and I was able to work with another skateboarder to make these instead of some like random company I didn't really know much about. So so that was something really exciting. And and the theme of this live stream seems to be like everyone's a person. Um, so it was cool to like make that connection. And now now I have that connection to get these shirts printed on. So sweet. Danny, thanks for your order, bud. I appreciate it. it was, oh yeah, I I haven't forgotten to send you your clip. I've just been like dead. But I'm gonna get you that this weekend. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, guys, so that's, that's what I had prepared to talk about today. Now we could just hang out and stuff, so <laughs> let's do it. That's how I got into the Lex Chow. Thanks for the, thanks for the pie, 3.14, that is pie dollars. And Hobie Williamson. Thanks for getting me into skating. You were the first skate channel I subscribed to, and you dropped the best content. Many thanks from Rochester, New York. Hey, I really appreciate it, and it like really stokes me out uh, to hear that I got you into skating, because I think skating is the most beautiful thing in the world, and if I could get even one person stoked on skating, as stoked on skating as I am, um, that makes me happy. So I'm really glad to hear that. Thank you. I appreciate it. So how are you guys doing? Some did, did you really order nine shirts, Freestyle Mason? Because that'd be epic. <laughs> um, and yeah, yeah, these are pretty low quantity. Um, I'm being kind of careful because I don't want to overspend. So if you are planning to cop, I would do it fast. Jacob J, I'm going to get the coffee tea later. Thanks. Oh yeah, did you guys like see this Instagram? My friend, some oh I'm seeing the notifications now. I wasn't supposed to like I don't wanna know. I don't wanna know yet. I need a break like mentally. I don't wanna know how many orders there are right now. I've been like working all day on getting this thing prepared. But yeah, I'm sure you guys have all seen. Um, but the Instagram today I posted on uh, my Instagram and Aeroskeco was taken by by my friend Brandon, and I am very, very stoked on them. They're like, we we basically found this like random yellow cart, and we had to hop a fence. <clears throat> and I I bought the coffee just for the photo, and like we I was like on my knees in this picture, but it came out so good. Um, Brandon, thank you. So yeah, if anyone came across that Instagram, uh, definitely give them a follow because. I'm stoked on it. And I'll show you guys the one on Arrow too. Yeah, I really get I get stoked on like Instagram content. <laughs> it's true. This one's sick. Hell yeah. Um yeah, I had this idea for a live giveaway. Anybody interested? Stop looking at your phone. Sorry. Why? <laughs> Shout out the squad. Oh, yeah, okay, so the giveaway. Um, basically, what we'll do is I'm going to live stream for like 10 more minutes, and to enter the giveaway, Danny, moving to NYC, hell yeah, I'll be here. I definitely plan to live in New York City. So if you want to enter the giveaway, it's going to be for three Aeroskeco stickers. Um, do I have any on me? I don't think I do. They're pink. You can see them on the website. So I'm going to give three people three Aeroskeco stickers. All you have to do is follow me on Instagram, George Poulos, 
follow Aeroskeiko on Instagram at Aeroskeiko, and then send a DM to Aeroskeiko just saying stickers. And then throughout the next 10 minutes, I'll just randomly choose a time to check the DMs. I'll pick the top one and you'll win a, a pack of three stickers. So go ahead and do give you a sticker. Look in your uh look in your folder. Look in your folder, Ralphie. <laughs> I gave it to you. <laughs> check, you got check. Kickflip tips. Um peace so bossy. Oh, I just saw you in here. Thanks for coming. OB. You the best. I'll see you in Connecticut. Um, oh yeah, kickflip tips. Uh well, try a lot. That's the best tip anybody can give you is to whatever trick you're learning, just try it as much as you can because eventually you will figure it out on your own. Trick tips help too. Um, I'm not going to be able, be able to like do a trick tip right now, but like if you watch trick tips, I do think those are helpful. helpful. They let you have it in your mind, which you can then translate to your body, but really just try it a lot. Ronnie. What's up? We got to catch a session again, Ronnie. When are you coming back to New York? Oh, yeah, the OG stickers. Yeah, I miss those. Hey, I'm six foot two and skinny. Do the shirts shrink? They may shrink in the wash. They are pre-shrunk, but it's always possible. Um, I would say if you're debating between, like, two sizes to get the bigger one, I feel like that's just a always general rule of thumb that the the smaller ones, yeah, get the bigger one. Aiden, hey man, could you talk about your job with kids? Yes, it's a good idea. I actually meant to kind of. So here's my plan. I plan all my videos and my live streams, and I miss the part that says talk about how summer's going. So Aiden, first of all, thank you for the two bucks, Aiden. If you're Aiden from my job, then what's up? If you're not, then sorry, but I appreciate you. <laughs> so yeah, um, basically this this entire summer has been um, me working a full time job, not even nine to five, more like eight thirty to five fifteen, and on Thursdays it was more like eight thirty to seven. Danny, oops. Thanks for the 10 bucks, Danny. I'm going to do something with that. <laughs> yes, so I was working. I am working full-time, overtime, um, and posting videos Monday, Friday. The live stream, honestly, got to say, gives me a nice break because editing is hectic. But so what I do at my job is it's a summer camp. It's a, it's a technology summer camp. And... There's different classes and they're one week at a time. So each week is like a new, it's like the camp kind of starts over. It's a new group of kids. And the class that I've been teaching every week is YouTube video production. So every week I get five to eight kids who come, <laughs> who, uh, come to camp and want to learn how to like do YouTube videos. And basically I teach them uh, how to edit using Adobe Premiere how to film with a DSLR camera, uh, basically teach them how to do what I do, essentially. And it's a blast. Uh, it's really fun. I love connecting with the kids. Um, I would say that the, the struggle with this job is that I'm not made for a nine to five. Like I, This job has really showed me that I need to be self-employed because um, I love YouTube and skateboarding more than anything. And it's it's hard for me to spend that much energy into something else. Um, so yeah, it's like I'm making money from it, which is cool. I get to invest that back into my passion, but um, it's been taxing on me to like not be able to put full time into uh, what I wanna do, which is my YouTube channel and skateboarding and filming videos. So um, yeah, uh, I think this job, I, I don't regret it at all. Uh, it's been a great experience. And as I said, the kids are dope. They're the best. Um, but I think this job this summer has like reaffirmed to me what I want to do with my life, which is to make this work. And I got to say this summer, I've my confidence has been increasing. The YouTube channel has been going well. 
Uh, I just got a couple more brand deals that will be on the way. So that's dope. Um, yeah, I have one more week left of that job and that's it. So summer's flying by, summer 18, summer line. Here it is, yeah. Um, yeah, I can't believe there's only one week left of it. Uh, right after uh, my job ends next week, I'm flying to Wisconsin. Unfortunately, not for long. I won't really be there to say hi to anyone. And then I'm driving right away with uh, Nora. If you don't know who that is, it's my girlfriend. We're driving to Oregon. So I'm going to go to, to all these freaking states I've never been to. Like, so if you kind of live on that half of the country, definitely hit me with a DM, especially if you're on the drive from Wisconsin to Oregon. Um, let's skate. Uh, I'm particularly excited. I'm probably going to say the town wrong. and going to sound stupid. It's in Idaho, Boise, Boise, Idaho. They got a really dope skate park, and I'm excited to check it out. going to film a ton of videos. Um, so, yeah, that's the end of my summer. And then uh, my senior year of college starts on September 2nd, I think. So in less than a month. George, can you say something in Spanish? That's an interesting one. I haven't taken Spanish class in a while. Um, what do you want me to say? Yo quiero uh, comida. I'm hungry. Tengo hambre. <laughs> um Happy birthday in a month, I use skateboard. Uh, yeah, and and thoughts on entering senior year are intense excitement. I'm very excited. Intense um, overwhelmingness. I'm very overwhelmed and scared to be in my last year of college because it's the kind of thing where you start and you feel like it's never going to end. You, you feel like that's your place in life. But... The three years already have flown by. I know this one's going to feel the fastest. Um, so uh, it's crazy. I'm excited, though. I'm very excited. I'm, I'm, I'm taking my, my YouTube way more seriously than my classes. What I'm going to actually do during my senior year is start my first season on my YouTube channel, which is basically nothing um, but a label. I'm going to be labeling all my videos with, like, season one, episode, whatever, there's going to be 75 videos that span my senior year of college. It's going to start from the day I move in to the day I graduate. And it's going to be super emotional and intense. Not really. Probably only the last episode will be emotional and intense. The rest are going to be my normal skate videos, but they're going to, they're going to, it's a season, 75 episodes, Monday, Friday. Um, yeah, no, I'm not going to be able to skate in Wisconsin. Unfortunately, I'm actually, yeah, we're going straight from the plane uh, to start the road trip. So yeah, it's it's unfortunate, but yeah. I'll, I'll be seeing the Madison homies eventually as it goes. What's going on? Dun, dun, dun. What kind of education do you take? Oh, I'm studying computer science, but I've decided it's not for me. Well, I, I like it, but YouTube YouTube is where it's at. That's the fun stuff right there. Can you ever not cuff your pants? I don't know. Let's see. Sorry that you had to see my foot, but it's cuffed. Um, yeah, I feel like I have more to say about how my summer is going. It's been, I think it's the most busy I've ever been in my life because, like, Ugh. <sighs> it's just an exhausting job because kids have lots of energy and I have a lot of energy too and I have to put it into the job but my energy also needs to go into filming a video so but I have to film two videos a week which I usually do Saturday and Sunday and I'm literally editing all week every time I'm not working I'm editing Yes, please censor out my foot. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, bossy. <laughs> Means a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to film the, uh, I'm definitely going to film the road trip. It'll be, so like what I've, what I've realized and maybe you've noticed on my channel is that my purely skate topic videos do the best. Um, 
I mean, which makes sense because I've, I've created this channel about skateboarding. So like the video topics, like for example, I did one called Road Trip Essentials. It's probably at like 2K views, but five tricks you can learn before the Ollie is past six, just an extreme example, but the road trip, it will be a part of the vlogs, but the center of the videos will be about a specific skate topic that whatever I think of at that time. Um, yeah. Yeah, Danny, like, so Danny just said, I'm pumped for you to finish school and live in the city and skate and film. Yeah, that's like part of like, of, of like all this, all that I'm feeling about finishing school. It's like, it's so, it's like emotional. Like I have a great time there, but I, oh my gosh, being able to do this full time. I can't even imagine work. Like I've never been able to do this full time, just like full out nine to five or more working on videos. Like I'm very stoked for that in New York city too. Oh yes. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's get it. Um, May Elo Garcia, are bones SPFs good for wood ramps? That means bone skate park formula. Um, yeah, they are. They are. So they're not completely grippy. Like the bones SPFs are meant to slide, but they will grip much better than the bones STF, which is the street tech formula. So if you want a really grippy wheel, the Bones SPF is not the one. I would say the SPF is like the perfect combo of grip and slide. So take it as you will. Uh, no, I don't. I think you're asking me something about French and I don't speak that. Um, yeah, I know Odd Future. What's my favorite? So retro asks my favorite skater, which is a hard question. Um, I had a Michael Polizzi phase because I loved one of the parts he put on Thrasher. Maybe he's still my favorite, although I haven't been following him much these days. I honestly like this might be weird, but my favorite skaters are actually like people at my local parks where I just really admire and like their style. Like, just literally, just, like, the dudes at the local, like, yeah, so, like, nobody, anybody would know. Um, Danny's going to have a full-time job in skate and film every moment. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's what I'm doing now. It's hard to have a full-time job and to work on YouTube, but it can be done. I mean, I don't know if this, how... I don't know how sustainable this is for my well-being. I mean, I am sleeping enough, but my mind space is just hacked. Like, there's so much in here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but, yeah, like, if I'm not making enough money, I will have to get a job. Although, I'm, I'm extremely committed to making this work. So, I think we're going to make it work. Let's do it. It's scary, but let's get it. I know it's possible. Honestly, hanging out with John has been very inspiring because, like, obviously, he's doing it. John Hill, I'm talking about. Um, and yeah, he's very, very encouraging. And hanging out with him has given me a lot of confidence for what I'm trying to do. Hey, what's up, Oliver? Just joining the stream. What's good? I am going to log off in like, I'd say five. Uh, but yeah, hell yeah. If you guys want to see the beginning of this, you can, uh, this will post as a video where I talk about the whole skate shop thing. You can watch it after. Hey, George, how you doing? Thanks for asking, Carter. I'm doing good. How are you doing? But actually, I'm, I'm pretty tired, but I'm stoked. Uh, energy is low. Stoke is high. I need some sleep and food. And um, yeah, <laughs> I, I need to edit a lot this weekend. I need to film two videos. I love filming videos. I love editing. But I could use a day to do absolutely nothing. I might have to do that soon. If I get my Monday video edited tomorrow, well, oh, I have work next week. Oh, well. <laughs> What's my favorite part about YouTubing from I am Reptar 4? 
I think my favorite part about YouTubing is that one, it enables me to skate. So I remember when I first decided to commit to my video upload schedule, um, my reason for it was that I love skateboarding and if I commit to something that forces me to skate, I know it sounds bad, like, but it's not really like forcing, it's just like, it's like a, it's like a schedule that helps me skate often. I felt like committing to a YouTube posting schedule would help me skate forever, essentially. That's, that's like, I'm a simple guy. I just want to skate as long as I can. I love it. I love meeting skaters. And that's the second thing. Uh, YouTube helps me connect with people. So I'm actually pretty like uh, shy, believe it or not. Maybe it's obvious. I have no idea. I'm pretty shy. It's, it's like hard for me to talk to people. But uh, YouTube, especially as it's been growing, has given me confidence in meeting people. It's directly helped me meet people, uh, skaters mostly, um, and it's led to great times. And uh, filming videos does not feel like work. It's work, but it doesn't feel like it. It's what I love to do anyway, and that's why I love it. So yeah. Oh, freak the giveaway winners. Yeah, let's do it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> like I, I totally blanked on that, but thank you for reminding me. So. What I'm going to do is, since I was supposed to do three throughout, is I'm not going to pick the three last ones. I'm just going to like scroll a bit. So, oh wait, I have to go to the other folder. Hold on. Okay. Okay. That was not a sticker giveaway entry. Let me do that again. Sponsor me with not a sticker giveaway entry. <laughs> okay. Winner number one, Agro K. I'm going to DM you so you know. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> so, okay. So that's three stickers. Hey, congrats. You're in the live stream too still. You getting some stickers? I just DM'd you. Send me your address. Okay, one more. Yeah, I'll send the stickers anywhere, guys. That's not too expensive. Um, just gotta get an international stamp. Okay, we're we're picking number two. I think there's like not that many entries, so I keep passing them all. Everything I click on is somebody asking to get sponsored. <laughs> Okay, one more time. Okay. Sam Posse's. You are winner number two. Sam Posse's. Are you in this? Are you still here? I'm going to DM you. And then one more winner for the giveaway. Samantha, was that you who just won? Let's get it. Oh, yeah, Oliver. So I announced how to win earlier in the thing. Don't worry. I do giveaways all the time. Just make sure you're following the socials all down below. I do them all the time. Yeah, Don't worry about it. Okay, I have to, like, I have to do this without looking. No way. Who, who's been saying Norway? Is it? Wow. Andreas, you actually won. Let's get it. You won. They're coming in Norway. <laughs> That's so funny. You actually won. Wow. That's great. DM you. Um, yeah. Congrats, you guys. Yeah, you're welcome. You entered the giveaway, fair and square. So give me some, where'd my hat go? Did I dab that off? I can't remember. Give me some time to get those out because I'm going to have hopefully a lot of these to ship as well. I don't know. I might, I'm not going to look at the notifications right now. <laughs> a spaghetti. Okay, it's been 40, guys. 
Yeah, I got to put on the helmet, don't I? No, that's too far. It's too far. Where is it? Where's the helmet? Thank you much for tuning in. This is a little tight. Helmet gang, we are out here. Uh, no BF. Yeah. <laughs> I'm spacing out. Outer Space Collection, Summerline. Go Cop! It's selling out. I don't actually know that, but I think it might be. I, the, the, the quantities this time around were very limited. So if you are interested in copying from the Summerline, link is at the top of the description right now. I recommend you do it. Your size might be out by the time you check. So, um, And if you live in Madison, go check them out at Freedom Skate Shop. Um, if those things sell well, I would imagine that would help me get this opportunity again. So I appreciate your support out in Madison. Um, yeah, follow me on the socials, you know, all of that. Smash that like button one more time, even if you've already done it. No, don't do that because I think it unlikes. Um, so yeah, thank you guys. I cannot express my appreciation for you enough. Everyone who super chatted this time around, thank you. That is very, very, very helpful as well. <sighs> yeah. Peace. I think I'm going to uh, Prospect Park to go to a concert. <laughs>